We are accustomed to thinking of prisons as places with electrified barbed wire, stern guards armed with rifles, and shootings in case of disobedience. However, it's even more surprising to learn that in some countries, escaping from prison is not considered a crime. We will tell you about strange laws, escapes on a surfboard, and why other criminals sit quietly and don't attempt to escape. And at the end, there's a comical case of a robber who got up and left the prison taking the seat next to the country's prime minister. In Germany, a legislative approach where a criminal has the right to escape has existed for over a century. In the late 19th century, German legislators made an important distinction between two key aspects of freedom – the right to use it and the right to seek it. They concluded that the first, the right to freedom, can be subject to regulation, especially when it comes to criminals. Authorities can detain citizens in accordance with the law. However, the second, the right to aspire to freedom, was deemed inalienable and not subject to restriction. In Germany, a person can dream of freedom, strive for it, and seek lawful means to exercise this right. If someone escapes from prison in Germany, they will be pursued and forcibly returned to the confinement, but their sentence will not be extended. The same principle is applied in Mexico, Austria, and several other countries. Nevertheless, this does not mean that an SKP will feel completely unpunished. In the legislation of these countries, there is no prescribed punishment for the act of escape, but the court will carefully examine all attendant circumstances and may likely find elements of other crimes. For example, if a criminal uses force or violates someone's rights in an attempt to escape, it may lead to an increased sentence upon capture. If they cause property damage, use someone else's pass or break into something, it may be considered forgery, theft or another offense. All of these actions are punishable, and if an SKP commits more offenses while on the run, they will face a new set of charges. Therefore, the attempt to remain unpunished after an escape while not violating other sections of the law is unlikely. Upon returning to prison, escapees can also expect disciplinary measures, such as isolation or restricted visitation. And those who aid an SKP can be convicted of obstructing justice and receive an additional five years to their sentence. However, there are cases where people manage to exercise their right to escape in a way that does not land them in trouble with the law. Surprisingly, even in a tough country like Mexico, a similar law regarding the right to seek freedom exists. However, this right was exercised only once. In 1971, American entrepreneur Joel Kaplan found himself imprisoned in a Mexican jail. Seizing a rare opportunity due to the negligence of the authorities, he managed to escape without the use of force or bribery. Exercising his right to freedom, he stayed within the boundaries of the law, using his own car and the cash he had on hand. Joel Kaplan acquired a helicopter to put as much distance as possible between himself and the prison. He then boarded a private plane, which he rented with all the necessary documents and permits. Upon arriving in California, he passed through customs using his own documents and name and received legal entry permission. At that time, the Mexican police had not yet reported his escape since they didn't even realize he was missing from the prison. Upon his arrival in the United States, Joel decided to lay low, but it soon became apparent that this was unnecessary. He had not violated any American laws. Law enforcement authorities showed no interest in his case, since he hadn't committed any serious offenses by local standards, neither in the US nor in Mexico. The escape had been carried out by the book and seemingly without accomplices. Mexican authorities also had no legal basis to issue a warrant since they hadn't even noticed his absence from the prison. Sweden is a rather progressive country, especially in terms of its laws and citizens' freedoms. Even an escape where armed individuals helped a criminal break out of prison is not considered a serious crime here. This incident occurred at the end of winter, when a 20-year-old native of Malmo, who was convicted of attempted murder and was the subject of an international manhunt, managed to escape with the support of masked accomplices armed to the teeth. This happened while the young man was being transported under guard in a specially secured vehicle. Sweden's law regarding prison breaks is unique. Attempting to avoid imprisonment is not considered illegal. Despite the fact that the convict had already been sentenced and was en route to serving his term, no sanctions were imposed on him for the armed attack. However, his accomplices were less fortunate. Active assistance in an escape or incitement to escape is considered a full-fledged crime punishable by law. But it's important to remember that an attempted escape can affect a convict's possibility of early release on parole, which impacts their overall prison term. Most prisoners are released earlier if they show signs of rehabilitation. Similar to Germany, authorities can influence visitations and contact with the outside world to prevent the possibility of future escape attempts. 
The reason Sweden has not criminalized escapes is linked to its respect for citizens' rights and freedoms. It is believed that punishment for escaping is a double-edged sword, since it not only restricts freedom, but also robs people of hope. Human rights advocates argue that different countries employ various punishment mechanisms, and what works in one country may not necessarily fit another. Criminalizing escapes is unlikely to reduce the number of escape attempts. This same line of reasoning can be found in the next country, where individuals decided to make their escape in quite an extravagant manner. A Romanian citizen and his two cellmates, both Chechens aged 21 and 26, executed a daring escape from the Graskalo prison using a miniature hole measuring 12 by 12 inches that they had dug in the thick prison cell wall, which was nearly a meter thick. After this, they descended from a 40-foot height using tied-together bedsheets. However, the joy of freedom for these three prisoners lasted only a few minutes, as they were apprehended by guards immediately after escaping through the prison's outer perimeter. This incident raised concerns within the country's correctional system. Thorough security checks were conducted in all prisons right away. The director of Gaskalo, Gerhard Dörle, stated that the incident in his facility would undergo a thorough investigation to determine how these three young men managed to successfully escape. This was despite the recent modernization of the prison, equipped with high-performance security systems. Surprisingly, the accomplices were only charged with property damage and faced a few fines, as there is no punishment for attempted escape in Austria either. As for the level of permissiveness in the next country, legends are being told, so we won't be surprised here. In the Netherlands, an exceptional cult of freedom still prevails. Escaping from prison is not currently punishable in our country in the name of the right of the inmate to desire to be a free person, notes the Dutch newspaper De Volkskrant. However, the Kingdom's Minister of Justice intends to correct what it calls a deficiency in the criminal code. Why? Well, for example, accomplices who help an inmate escape are not exempt from criminal responsibility and could face up to four years in prison. So why the inmate remains unpunished remains unclear, making the situation quite ambiguous. As in other countries, the right to escape is a conditional matter, as the prison administration will always find a pretext for new charges. Whether for the theft of bedsheets, damage to windows or doors, or acts of violence against a prison guard. Furthermore, an escapee loses the opportunity to apply for conditional release, and upon recapture, they will serve their sentence to its full extent, often with more significant restrictions. But what if the inmate made no efforts to escape but found themselves outside the prison walls? For instance, if an escapee hid in a trash bag and was transported out of the prison in a container, whose fault is it? Who should be held accountable? And can negligence be considered as assisting a criminal? These are the questions being raised by the Kingdom's Ministry of Justice. Denmark's reputation for comfortable and accommodating prisons, not to mention its lenient legislation, that akin to the other countries mentioned earlier allows criminals to escape without facing any consequences, has been the subject of legends. However, public opinion changed significantly after a recent incident. A well-known Danish inventor, Peter Madsen, who was serving his sentence in the Hustedvester prison in the suburbs of Copenhagen, attempted a daring escape. Although the correctional facility resembled more of a three-star hotel than a prison, except for the bars and the windows and constant security. Even particularly dangerous criminals sentenced to life imprisonment were held here. Peter Matson is renowned for his inventions of submarines. However, it was his last project, the submarine Nautilus, that brought him worldwide fame. In 2014, Matson announced that the next stage of his career would be space travel. Journalist Kim Wall reached out to Matson for an interview in August 2017, and it turned out to be her last, as the submarine unexpectedly sank on August 11th. On the same day, Matson was arrested. Initially, he claimed that Kim Wall had disembarked by herself, then he said she hit her head and died. However, the investigation determined that Matson had attempted to sexually assault his victim and subsequently killed her, dismembered her body and disposed of it at sea. To cover up the crime, he sank his submarine. Matson was sentenced to life imprisonment by the court. From all of this, it appears that Peter had already been planning his escape at the time and contemplating how to deceive the entirely calm Danish prison facility. It turned out that only a few words and terror-filled eyes were required for this. Madsen spent his last days in solitary confinement due to a previous unsuccessful escape attempt. The second attempt was more effective, as several dozen people could not manage to deal with an entirely unarmed inmate. According to witnesses, Peter stole a white van not far from the prison, but he was soon apprehended by the police. Bystanders reported that the SKP was pulled out of the vehicle near the prison, 
which was only 500 meters away. Then the police handcuffed him, but Madsen didn't surrender. He started shouting that he had planted a bomb in the van, causing the guards to panic. The brave individuals jumped to the side, leaving the criminal alone. As you can understand, he has plenty of time, and the attempt turned into a torture. Norway is no exception with its humanitarian approach. Not long ago, an unusual escape took place in one of the country's island prisons. While in the nation's first eco-prison, an inmate decided to challenge the security and disappear into the night, albeit in quite an extravagant manner. The 23-year-old guy crossed a two-kilometer straight on a regular surfboard that other inmates used for fun. The correctional facility located on Bastoy Island in the picturesque Oslofjord Bay is renowned as one of the most humane in the world, focusing not only on punishment but also on rehabilitating inmates. Bastoy offers inmates an astonishing degree of freedom. Those who follow the facility's rules experience extraordinary comfort. Inmates have their own keys to individual cottages, can freely move around the island, and after a six-hour shift have free time to do as they please – read, play tennis, watch television, ride horses, or go fishing. Inmates also have the opportunity to work and earn around 60 Norwegian krona or $8 per day. They can visit shops, a church, and a school while learning new skills and professions under the guidance of instructors. Most inmates work on the farm, where they grow organic vegetables and fruits and care for animals. This includes inmates convicted of particularly serious crimes. The selection process for admission to the special program on Besto Island is individual and rigorous, but statistics indicate that this experiment has been successful. The minimal security staff is unarmed, and it is possible to swim to the shore or hijack a boat. Still, the number of escapes from the island over the past decade can be counted on one hand. The most significant thing is that only 16% of those who have served their sentence on Bastoy Island commit new crimes, which is incredibly low. One might think it's paradise on Earth, but this young man decided to escape, and after recapture, he found himself in far more modest conditions. Another country where prisoners serve their sentences with the option of an unpunished escape is Iceland. However, even here, there have been some amusing incidents. Sindri Thor Stefansson, a convict responsible for one of the largest heists in Icelandic history, managed to escape from prison and make his way to Sweden. Quite surprisingly, one of the passengers on the flight that took him to Sweden was the Prime Minister of Iceland, Captain Jakobsdottir. Stefansson was serving his sentence at Sogon, a rural prison located approximately 60 miles from the airport. It's astonishing, but even in prison he had access to a phone and the internet. However, his spirit yearned for freedom, and the robber managed to escape by simply climbing out of a window. He then hitchhiked to an airport, all while dressed in regular civilian clothing that was allowed in his cell. Stephenson managed to bypass border control as he was moving within the Schengen area. He was arrested on charges related to the theft of 600 computers used for Bitcoin mining. The stolen equipment, which was never recovered, was estimated to be worth 2 million euros, making it the most extensive heist in Iceland's history. Alongside Stephenson, 11 other individuals were arrested. After his escape, he was simply returned to a cozy cell with restricted internet access. While many countries boast that the right to individual freedom is their top priority, in reality, authorities find other ways to punish those who attempt to escape. The case in Mexico, where a criminal legally escaped without official pursuit, remains unique in the world. Thanks for watching.